Okay, see, question number 36, J2022 question. The sum of all elements of the set alpha belongs to 1 to 100 natural numbers. Okay, all are there. 1 to 100 means every number is there here. Even I will write 3, 4 also like, okay? Up to 100. And HCF of alpha 24 should become 1. Alpha is what? Alpha is from 1 to 100. Every number you have to take, but that HCF should come 1. Okay. Earlier, such type of question we have done, but in reverse way we have done. HCF should be greater than 1 there. Okay. Ah. Here HCF should be 1 like that. Really. See how you know normally in last class already we have done this question. I can say HCF you see 1 means see 1. Uh, HF easily you can find 124 because alpha if you take 1 huh, we are starting from 1 to 100 see 124 are 24 that means see 1 is your HF value okay 1 I have written like simply I am telling now 2 if you go 2 is not uh, this thing 24 means automatically 2 12 are 24 0 then 2 will be HF but here you should have 1 2 you cannot take 3 also, 3 8 are 24, you cannot take. 4 also, 4 6 are 24, you cannot take. 5 again you can take. 5 4 are 20, 4 will come. 4 1 are 4, 1 will come. Again 1 4 are 4, that means 1 will be assumed. That means after 1, 5 will come. They are asking this list and sum. The sum of all elements, HCF for alpha 24 should be 1 like. But how are you going to write this series? That means, so can you say 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9, like that, can you write? No, why because see, this is not that much easy, why because in between 7 will come, 24, 7 3s are 21, 3 will come, 7, 3 2s are 6, 1, 3, 1 3s are 3, again 1 is there, that means 7 you miss, if you go in this logic, then what is the logic, simple logic, already last class we have done, find factors for 24, 2 12s, 2 6, 2 3s, that's all. That means factor C is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. That means we can say prime factors are 2 and 3. What I want to say, 2, if you divide, then 2 will be your LCF, sorry, HCF. With 3, if you divide, 0 will come. That means 3 will be your LCF. That means you, you don't require 2 and 3. Okay? Uh, factors are 2, 3 means you, you what we have to do? What are the numbers which are divisible by 2 you write and make a sum? What are the numbers which are divisible by 3 also you make sum? We add these two and subtract the total sum from 1 to 100. Okay? Remaining all divisible by 1 only directly. Okay? HF is 1 means divisible by 1 only. That means for 24 I am talking about. Okay? Like that we can do. But uh, is this correct or any what we can say? Catch is there. Catch is there. But let us find something then I will tell the catch. Okay? Now you see I am not talking about required sum. First I will tell, I will tell you yes one. Okay. S1 is equal to C sigma n is equal to 1 to 100 n. 1 to 100 n. Total I am making first S1. That means what will happen here? Sigma n, n into n plus 1 by 2. That is equal to 100 into 101 by 2. That is equal to 101 into 50. Okay. 250 is that. 5 1 are 5, 5 0, 5 1 are 5, 5 0, 5 0 will be your S1. S1 means all numbers you are taking, 1 to 100, all numbers. Okay. From this you have to subtract. What are those divisible by 2 and divisible by 3? Let me write divisible by 2. Numbers divisible by 2. S1, all numbers. You know uh, what we can say. S2 S2 implies 
numbers are sum of numbers divisible by 2 okay what are those see what i am writing s2 is equal to see divisible by 2 means you 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus like that it goes 100 yes 100 also will come okay divisible by then uh, see here how you are going to find this s2 how many numbers are there how you are going to find n see 100 is equal to uh, a plus n minus 1 into b. A is how much? 2 plus n minus 1 into b. D is how much? 2. Okay. First term is 2, difference is 2. Then we can find n is equal to 100 minus 2, 98 by 2 plus 1. 49 plus 1. That means see, n is equal to 50. Okay. And A and D also you are having, then you can find this uh, sum. That means see, S2, shall I say, uh, N by 2, 50 by 2 into 2A, 2 into 2 plus N minus 1, 49 into D, D is 2. Okay, that is equal to, see, 25 into 4 plus 98. Okay. 2 9s are 18, 2 4s are 8 plus 1, 9, 98. Okay. Now see 102. 102 into 25. See 25 2s are 50. 25 0s are 0, 5. 25 1s are 25. 2550. This will be your S1. Sorry, S2. Okay. Now go for S3 also. S3 is what? Divisible by 3. Why 2, 3 we are taking? 2 and 3 are factors for 24. Okay, factors. Let us see. S3 implies sum of numbers divisible by 3. Okay. Right now, S3 is equal to, see, 3 means first term will be 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus, like that it goes. What will be your last term? 99. Okay, 99 only. Because 99 is divisible by 3, but 100 is not divisible by 3. Okay, now. <laughs> Sorry. Now, you find N. Because n, see, a and d anyway you know, a is 3 and d is 6 minus 3, 3. n you have to find, n how you are going to find, 99 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b, d is how much, 3. Okay, that means see, n is equal to 99 minus 3, 96 divided by 3 plus 1. Okay, 3, 42, 33. 33. Okay. N will be 33. Okay. Now, you find S3 then. S3 is equal to ah! Sorry. N by 2. Let me see. 33 by 2. 2A plus 1. 2 into 3. Plus N minus 1. 32 into D. D is 3. Okay, that is equal to 33 by 2 into C uh, 6, 96 plus 6, 102. That is equal to 33 into 51. Okay, write down C 1 3s are 3, 1 3s are 3, 5 3s are 15, 5 3 are 15 plus 1, 16. 3, 8, 16, 83, that is equal to 16, 83 will be your sum. Okay. Now, as per our analogy, S2 and S3 are not HCF1. Okay. That means S2 and S3 you add and subtract from S1. S1 is full sum. Then you are going to get this value. But is it correct? No. Why? Because see, in S2, S3 also some numbers are repeated. 
six here is also there, here is also there. Accordingly, twelve will be here, twelve will be here. That means, see, I want to take S four also. Then, okay. See, S four I am talking about. S four. What is this S four? Six will come. Okay. Next term will be twelve. Twelve will come. Okay. Then what will come? Eighteen. Why? Because six plus six plus six. Eighteen plus six. Twenty-four plus like this it goes. What will be the last term? Six. Uh, twenty-four plus six tens are sixty. Twenties are one twenty. Fifteen six are ninety. Sixteen six are ninety six. That's all. Why? Because see, if you add six one zero two, that is hundred only. That means see, ninety six you take last term. Ninety six. Okay, that is equal to. Now you find this sum and you subtract this from S two plus S three minus S four. Why? If you subtract automatically, S two S four will be. Separate numbers. R S six will be there here here. Twelve will be there here here. Eighteen will be there. Ninety six will be there. Like that it will come. Okay. Uh, that we should not take. Now see what will be the yen here. Yen. See ninety six is equal to a plus yen minus one into a three will be six. Okay. Yen is equal to see ninety six minus six ninety by six. Plus one, see fifteen plus one, sixteen. Here n will be your sixteen. Okay. Now find s four. S four is equal to two a n by two. Sorry, sixteen by two into two a two into six plus n minus one fifteen into d also six. Okay, that is equal to still ninety plus twelve one hundred two. Ninety plus twelve, one hundred and two. Okay. Ah. Eight into one hundred and two. Eight two are sixteen. Eight zero zero one. Eight one are eight eight hundred and sixteen. This eight hundred and sixteen you subtract from these two. Okay. Now you see what I want to say. Required sum is equal to yes one minus. Yes one minus you see uh, yes two plus yes three minus yes four. Understand what is this logic? See this is total sum, but these two are not HC of one. You have to subtract from this. Then HC of one numbers will come, but among these uh, between these two again yes four is repeated. That is why this we are subtracting from this. Yes one will be how much? Five zero. Five zero minus yes two will be how much two five five zero plus yes three will be how much sixteen eighty three minus yes four is how much eight hundred and sixteen okay that is equal to where do I do this calculation why because you first let me what I will do here five zero five zero This is going to become plus outside. Okay, eight sixteen. Six six eight five. Fifty eight sixty six. Okay, these two I will add. Twenty five fifty sixteen eighty three. Okay, three thirty twelve four. That means what we have to do? For fifty eight sixty six minus forty two thirty three. Okay, I will do here. See, fifty-eight sixty-six minus forty-two thirty-three. Okay, six minus three three six minus three three eight minus two six five minus four one sixteen thirty-three. Is this the answer you see? Sixteen thirty-three. Understand? Okay. Now we will close this class. Tomorrow we will do two thousand twenty-three questions, four questions, and we will close this chapter. Thank you very much.